we shall place at the top of our agenda Madiba's vision of a non-sexist society in which the oppression and exploitation of women, whether in the workplace, in communities, or in the home, is eradicated. We will work to ensure we achieve comprehensive development of women in all spheres of life so as to ensure that there is equality between men and women in our country. Our vision is an economy that encourages and welcomes investment. We must not have an economy that discourages and chases away investors from investing in South Africa. As we stand here, we say South Africa is open for investment and we invite all investors from all over the world to come to South Africa to invest in our country so that we can grow our economy, so that we can create jobs, so that we can end poverty, so that we can reduce inequality and increase the number of people who are involved. Which project will be implemented on a gradual basis as we find money, as we mobilize the resources, as we accumulate more and more money, we are going to realize this historic objective. This historic decision, which vindicates many decades of struggle for free education for the poor, will be implemented in a phased approach to ensure sustainability of our government's finances. There was overwhelming support at a conference that the ANC must pursue the expropriation of land without compensation. This will be done, comrades, in a manner that does not impede but promotes economic development. It will be done in a manner that does not impede but advances agricultural production and also takes forward our food security process and initiatives. Right now, in our urban areas, there is a shortage of land and our government owns a lot of land through various departments, through various municipalities, and we say we want that land to be released so that our people should have places to build their homes, to build their houses. We want those state-owned enterprises, enterprises such as ESCOM, such as PRASA, such as Transnet, to be state-owned enterprises that we can all be proud of. The ANC, therefore, welcomes the announcement by President Jacob Zuma on the establishment of a commission of inquiry in, the, in line with the public protector's report on state capture. These are the central tasks that must occupy all ANC structures that must occupy all ANC leaders, that must also be taken up by cadres of our movement, our members, during the course of 2018.